hey guys welcome to my channel today i have another diy for you all and this art is very special to me i've had this concept in my head for years although i wasn't sure how i would execute it well i finally made it and i love it so so much it embodies a lot of things i would like to teach my daughters and i'll be discussing those things in this video if you like to know what they are and how I made this art, please keep on watching. So these are the materials you're going to need for this project. A printed picture of the ballet girl silhouette. I chose this one because she kind of looks like Cora. <laughs> a board or a frame um fabric i have tool and ankara fabric then acrylic paint spray paint brushes glue scissors twilling paper glitter and hot glue gun i'm going to list all these things in the description box and i'll also tell you what they are as we go along So first, I'm going to spray my board or frame. I sprayed it white, then sprayed the purple around the edges to kind of frame the picture. I didn't want it to be just plain white frame. It matches their room really well, so I love it. So next, I cut out the silhouette of the ballet girl. I cut only the parts that I really needed. So I chose the ballet girl for this art because I admire ballet dance a lot. It teaches so many things. It teaches discipline and dedication. It teaches poise and grace. It teaches respect for one another, agility and flexibility. These are some of the things I want my children to imbibe and that is why I chose a ballet girl. So I traced the silhouette on the board using a pencil. So next, I'm going to paint the silhouette with acrylic paint. I initially wanted to use black but I went with chocolate brown. I want my kids to appreciate and love the color of their skin as much as I do because rich in color, rich in life, honey. <laughs> So next, let's dress her up. So as much as I love tulle, I want her outfit to represent our African heritage. That is why I chose to accentuate with Ankara fabric. I know my kids are going to travel the world and meet with people of different cultures and races, but I want them to always remember where they came from. I want them to be proud of their heritage. I want them to always remember home and to always carry with them those ideals that are peculiar to the African society. That is why I chose this fabric. So I went ahead to choose a tool color that complements and doesn't overshadow the Ankara, even though the Ankara is little. I'm going to gather the fabric using a needle and thread gathering creates ruffles i try to keep everything simple in my diy so that you guys can easily try that is why i'm using a needle and thread okay after i was done gathering the fabric i checked to make sure it was okay now it's time for her top i applied gold glitter to make the tube top I chose gold glitter because I love gold and I also love glitter. So gold glitter, I'm in heaven guys. <laughs> 
so i applied glue where i wanted the glitters to be i used a brush to apply it so that the glue can spread properly and not have spaces because the glitter stays only where there is glue So guys, this is what Adeze is doing. People are not even seeing me. Instead of going to pick a daughter up from school, I'm leaving you to go pick up my own children. Shame on you. I'll go now, sir. I'll go now. <laughs> So you see guys, that's why I was trying to complete the work before I picked them from school. <laughs> anyway, so the glitter is dry and I used a hot glue gun to attach the skirt. Hot glue is the best for this, but any other glue that can hold fabric to wood is good. Next, I'll be placing the crown on her head. I got this crown from one of their old hairbands. I'll insert a picture. I chose to put a crown because I want my kids to know that they are royalty. They should never allow anyone treat them less than they are. They are queens and should be treated as such. After this, I proceeded to do the hair. I wanted to make curls and initially I thought of using brown yarn, but I discovered a paper art method called swilling and I loved it. It's just rolling paper to form any design you want. I chose to use it to form their gorgeous curls and I used the darkest brown color. You all know I love my kids natural hair and I take pride in caring for them. I also want them to love their hair and know that they have good hair in spite of anyone's standards. I made different sizes of the paper and arranged them how I wanted before I went ahead to glue them down. I ended up using a tweezer and normal glue because it's less mess than a hot glue gun. So that's it guys, that's the final look. I added rhinestones to jazz up the background a little more because I want my kids to know that they are gems, okay? They are so beautiful. I also put gold stars above the girl dancing because they are superstars. <laughs> I really love how it turned out. It's not perfect, but that's the beauty. Above all, I want my kids to know that they may not be perfect in everything, but they are beautiful and special to God. Thank you all for watching. Please subscribe and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye.